Live stream view seems to be working well. If you well. bring any creatures on board, please make sure they are chained. Any loose animals will be vaporized on site. That's right. We will vaporize any loose animals. That's not tolerated. I don't know why. Seems kind of cruel, but it's the rules. Man, what's up with all this stuff all over the place? This is kind of a safety hazard. There's pipes and containers just kind of sitting around. Someone could run into these when they're on the move evader thingamadoodle. Over here, we just have trash just sitting out here, not being disposed of. I think we need to get a station manager for this place. Somebody to take care of that stuff. I don't have time for it. We're busy. We got places to go and people to see. The good news, though, is it looks like all of our station parameters are in acceptable operating margins. I wonder how Tamak and Slot is doing patrolling around the station. Let's go ahead and live stream in to Tamakin Slot and just make sure everything's good with him. Live stream view seems to be working if well. If you bring any creatures on board, please make sure they are chained. Any loose animals will be vaporized on site. That's right. We will vaporize any loose animals. That's not tolerated. I don't know why. Seems kind of cruel, but it's the rules. How you doing, Deborah? Hello. Can I help? Yes, um, I'm hungry. You got something to, Here you to go. eat? Some fruit salad. Okay. Let's go ahead and buy some fruit salad from you. 458 credits. That's some really expensive fruit salad, Deborah. Those are the going prices, though, I guess. Okay. Hey, you know what, too? While I'm thinking about it, I think we need to get ourselves a hand laser from you. And let's also purchase a one-star piloting license. We already have a one-star manager license, which we're going to actually be using here pretty soon. Okay, thank you, Deborah. Good luck out there. Same to you. Let's go see how Boso's doing. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Okay, he's doing fine. If you guys didn't know that, that's Boso speak for, I'm doing fine. Let's go to our office here. And we're going to go ahead and get ourselves a beverage here to drink with our fruit salad. And let's head on over here and take a quick look at the stock prices. Make sure the market's doing as well as it can today. Seems to be doing all right. Okay, so we're gonna sit down at our desk here and it's time for us to, uh, to up our game and make some important changes here. So the first thing we're gonna do is um, there's been a mix-up with the Argon Federation in terms of our identity. For some reason, they thought we were this person named Val Selton, but the, there is no Val Selton here. Now, that isn't our name. Our name is actually Matthias Reaver. And our organization's name is Reaver Industries. All right, so we fixed that issue. And uh, we also need to do a little bit of change in regards to our company image. Um, we do have some of these kind of logos here, but I'm not sure that those really fit too well with, um, you know, with the image here. So I'm thinking we're probably not gonna use these. Besides, our name's Matthias Reaver anyways. I don't even know who this old guy gaming person is. 
And so in looking through these earlier, I think what we're going to do is we're going to select the, the spaceship um, logo. I think that's going to work fine for us. And we're going to also um, change our colors. I think I'd like to go with the um, probably the light blue color. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to get a manager on this station to take care of some of those issues that, uh, you know, that we discovered there on our walkabout. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to set that to manager and do a sort. Um, pretty much Zazosis, Yalos, and Calibrano are off limits because they're already three star pilots and they're doing advanced auto trading for us and we just don't want to pull them off of that. We could go with Ukmunkusut Sut. Um, but again, he's on his way. Well, he does have he does have almost a three-star management skill. But what we might be able to do instead is we might be able to go to Hurilus Hurilus. And if we give Hurilus Hurilus a seminar, because currently he's just a service crew. Can I help? A one star crew management. Okay. Goodbye. That then puts him up to two and just a little bit more stars for management. But you muck and s you, you make a suit. Uckman. We're just going to call him Uckman. Um, he's he's actually going to be... Uh, but, well, actually, hold on. The game is putting Hurilus Hurilus just a little bit above Uckman. Uckmunk. So he's just a sliver better as a manager. And so I think he's going to be our candidate. Okay, so... We're going to contact Hurilus Hurilus here. Can I help? Yes, you can. I've got a new job for you. Oh, yeah? What's that job, he asks. We want you to come and be the new manager here at our headquarters. Affirmative. Okay, very good. So we have now assigned our third best manager to our station. Because here again, we don't want to assign the first two because they're also our best pilots so we want to keep them on trading very good all right now if we go back to or rather if we go to to, 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 to here we also want to change this the name of our station to reaver headquarters Actually, Reaver Industry Headquarters. Reaver Industries Headquarters. Yeah. There we go. And we now have our new manager here, Hurilus, Hurilus at Reaver Industries. Let's go give our new manager a... Uh, a welcome to the station here. Hello, Hurilus Hurilus. Hello. You like your new dicks here, buddy? I think he does. Can I help? Okay, so... This is where the magic starts. The station magic. And, by the way, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> to <laughs> X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming. 
Um, we did a little bit of little role play to start off the episode there. Um, so yeah, we've uh, made some changes here. We renamed our character. We re- renamed our organization, and we have now hired a manager for our station. So the goal for this episode is for us to start uh, doing some building on the station itself. Um, and again, this is very new territory to me. I've seen a little bit of this in a couple other videos, but, um, uh, you know, there's going to be some trial and error here, of course, as we, as we figure all this out. So I think the first thing we want to do is we want to go into build mode, configure station. What is station overview? Okay. So that gives us the, the little logical thingy. All right. What we want to do first though is station is missing storage yeah okay we got to get storage for sure on the station um can i get into build mode from here station configuration yes okay so this is where we want to go now i have some some general ideas of how how things are going to go here and i'm not really sure if this station's going to be our headquarters for this entire playthrough, or if I'm going to build something else, I'm going to assume at this point in time that it will be. Um, but you know, we'll see, we'll see how things go. So what I want to do then is I want to kind of section it off so that this wing here, for example, becomes all of our, um, utility types of things. So, so we would do our power and our water and our, you know, our, our gas storage and, and maybe even our storage, uh, in this section. And then another section could be for high tech and another section could maybe be for, you know, for farming, you know, wheat farms and, and our new beef farms, that sort of thing. Um, that's just a very general idea though. I'm assuming that I can build something over here and it doesn't have to be connected to the dock because I believe this whole thing is considered part of the station, even though in terms of the storyline, uh, I don't know that we've still been given full access to the station. So I'm going to assume that for now, though. Okay, so that being said, um, is it possible to move... A piece that's already in place. It would appear that we can do that. Okay, that's good to know. Um, because what I don't want to do is I don't want to put a bunch of stuff in front of our dock. I think our dock should be, you know, one of the it should be very easily accessible by ships. Um, and I, I think, too, we're just going to leave this dock where it is now, and we're going to maybe start doing some building over off the... <coughs> My goodness, excuse me, um, off of this side. Okay, so that being the case, let's go ahead and look at production modules here. Uh, well, I guess we have them over here. So I want to look at... storage modules, other modules. Yeah, I want to I want to look at some of these pieces here. So I think what we'll do is we'll take this piece here and we will How do I get it to connect to this? Um I want it to connect to this node here, but it's like it doesn't want to do that. It'll connect over here or over here. That's odd. Okay, what if we change our view here? So it's like we can't use this. No, that can't be right. We got to be able to use it. It's how do we get it to All right. 
move it over here. Move it over here. And then move it up. Oh, you know what I think it is? I think it's the way that it's rotated. Ah, that's what it is. Okay, so we need to rotate it like that. And then it should... There we go. Okay, it pops in like that. Very good. Okay. Um. So let's put that in there. And then... Let's take a cross piece next. And, oh man, are you going to make me move that every single time? Okay, where did it go? It's way the hell up here now. How do I rotate this guy here? Let's bring it down to here. Um, I don't know why it wants me to keep rotating that, though. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now rotate this like that. And then move it. Got to grab this arrow here. There. Okay. So that, did that actually connect there? I think it has. Okay, that's good. All right, now, what we're going to do is we're going to put another base piece here. Well, no, actually, let's not. Let's go and do... Um, production modules. Okay, so we're going to connect an energy cell to this guy here. But again, we need to bring it back this way and we need to rotate it that way. And then um, move it there. Okay. So we'll, we'll start an energy cell thingy there. And then what I think we'll do... After that is we need to get storage in place. So what I'm thinking is over here we do... We'll do energy cells and we'll do water. Um and gas you know so kind of utility types of things okay now let's go over here and what i think we'll do down the road is is maybe we'll put like habitation stuff here we'll move the dock out this can be we'll probably make this high tech and so let's do storage in the back here so we're going to go back to other modules and we're going to pop that on there so just so it sticks out from the station a little bit like we did before and let's also put a cross piece on like we did before and then we're going to go to storage, which is here. And we're going to put that. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll put that there. Okay. And I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure how much storage we need. I'm, I'm sure that there's a way we'll figure that out. I'm just not sure how all that works right at this moment. Okay, so planned and changed modules. Base connector, energy cell, 
Okay, that looks like everything we want to do. Station-wide module loadouts. Preset for all station modules. Okay, interesting. Uh, preferred build method, use global setting. I haven't even messed with that yet. There's no peer module. Confirm module changes. Cancel module changes. All right, let's confirm the module changes here. Now what we need to do is get these resources going. Uh, so in order to get all of the resources that we want, it's going to need 1.2 million for the estimate. So let's go ahead and accept that estimate. And then we need to find a builder. All right, so let's start looking around for a builder. It looks like there's one right here. A Talati Albatross. Select. Okay, so I think we've selected that builder. And as I, I think that's it. I think uh, I mean, as far as the the actual loadout to get started here is anyways. Now we could also we could also add some water um because we have we still have quite a bit of money production modules. Let's go back to station logical station overview. Energy cells Advanced electronics. That's needed for research. Station account. Okay, it doesn't give us a budget yet. That's probably because we don't have anything set up yet, I'm guessing. Transaction log. Um, that's River Industries headquarters. Yeah, that's um nothing there yet. Okay, just trying to get used to all this. All right, now... If we turn to Hurilus Hurilus and we do uh, general information. So the station account. Okay, we got the funds for the station estimate. Didn't I already accept that? Oh, maybe that's if we change it again. And there, there isn't an, an estimate yet for an operating budget because nothing's happening yet. Okay, so that makes sense. Updating trade offers, yes. Storage wares, two wares. Built capacity. Oh, right, that's for the building. Okay. All right, now... The next thing we want to do is we want we're going to want to assign um some haulers to the station, some ships to to you know bring in its resources. Why don't I tell you what? Why don't we do this? Why don't we go back out? Um, through information, river industry. Let's go back to plan build. Okay. Um, just out of curiosity, what would it take for us to add a water plant? Oh, you know what though? We don't have we don't have uh the blueprint for that, actually. We could add a meat plant for food. Um yeah, I mean, I suppose we could do that since since we know the blueprint. So I was thinking, you know, the food stuff maybe would come off of this little branch here. Um, so if that's the case, uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Raver Industries. Plan build. Um, let's do our our connection thingies again, just like we did before. All right, 
So bring you over here, turn you that way, and then bring you to there. And we'll also do a cross connector. Turn you that, there we go, okay. That just gives us more flexibility, you know, for expansion later on. And now what we'll do is we'll go do, well, what does this need though? That's the thing. How do I know what a meat production module needs? I think it's going to need water, so, but if we can't do a water plant yet, then we'd have to buy it, which I kind of, I want the station to be self-sufficient. So this might not be a good idea for us to do yet after all. We might have to go visit a, uh, you know, the, the uh, faction representative and get what we need for... All right, how do I cancel this? Oh, that's for turrets. Interesting, okay. Reset the top view. Um, go back to station configuration. That's where we are. How do I get out of this? Escape? Yeah, okay. Meat production. All right, I want to undo this. We might as well attach these, though, um, so that way they're already in place. Okay, yeah, so we're going to close this menu here. Um, or not. Why can't we close that menu? Um, Houston? Can't cancel. No, we don't want to cancel builder assignment. It won't let me leave this menu. There. I had to press the X. Greetings. Greetings. Okay, so I think if we go into the encyclopedia and we do station modules and we do production modules and meat production, it requires water and energy cells. All right, so that means I want to get water going first before I get this going. And wheat production also requires water. Unknown module. That's our station itself. Why? Why do? Why can we do blow right now? I don't know. Or no, we can't. I'm sorry. This is the encyclopedia. Storage modules, habitation modules, defense, dock, other modules, venture modules, welfare modules. These are the habitats. Okay, so if we built a small argon habitat module, well, it doesn't it doesn't require any any ongoing resources. It's just we just have to build it. Okay, so um, we're gonna need a liquid storage container habitat storage oh we can make a ring station that's cool i like that idea okay so large storage container medium storage container small how do we get the liquid storage storage types Oh, so is it a one-size-fits-all thing? Okay, hold on. Uh, let's go back to here. Um, map. Reaver Industries. Plant build. And storage. So can I specify what type of storage module this is? I don't think so. I think we have to have a, a liquid 
storage module. Yeah, okay. Let's Let's not do that. How do I get rid of this? Delete. Oh, well, that got me out of the thing. That didn't stay there, did it? No, it didn't. Okay. All right, yeah, so I'm thinking, guys, that we need to run back up to Argon Prime. And we need to get, uh, we need to purchase the blueprint for a liquid storage module. And for that matter, uh, a liquid water plant, too. Okay, so that being the case, um, we need, I want to get my Peggy back over here. Which I think is currently in Trinity Sanctum, just checking buy orders. Um, so I'm gonna get this uh, the Pegasus back to us, and then we're gonna take the Pegasus over to Argon Prime and talk to the faction representative. So I'll bring you guys. I'll bring you guys back um, when uh, when we get there. Okay, guys, we are at Argon Prime. Let's head over to the faction rep's office. And you don't have very high stats. Seems like most of the pilots or, or personnel that are just walking around these stations have pretty low stats, from what I've seen so far, anyway. Uh, okay, we want to go to the representative's office. And once again, I'm stuck inside the frickin' elevator. And let's try that again. Yeah, when the door opens, it pushes me back here and gets me stuck. Yay. <sighs> what the hell, man? Can I go into the map and then get back out of the map? This is very frustrating. I can't even... Yeah, here. We can get back to our ship from Shift D. What if we try a different... Elevator. What about you? Nope. Okay, let's not stand right in front of the door. And let's do representative of this office. And <laughs> okay, time to reboot the game. I'll be right back. Okay, I was able to walk out of the elevator that time. You kind of suck. That's a terrible thing to say. Okay, let's talk to Rinda Fisty. I'd like to buy a blueprint. And I want to buy module blueprints. And we want production modules. All right, so we want water production. That's going to cost us 265000 So let's select that. Um, just trying to think if we want to do anything more at the moment. We already know. Yeah, energy cell production. We could maybe do food ration production. Wow, 1.9 mil. And right, let's not let's not do that yet. That's expensive. We could do silicon wafer production, though. Um, that's not incredibly expensive. And refined metal is also pretty cheap. Yeah, let's select silicon wafer production. And let's select refined metal production. And the reason for that is because we have a lot of ore, silicon, and ice in Grand Exchange. Uh, all right, so select that. So that gets us up to a little over a mil right at the moment. Okay, now we also need storage modules. And I'm going to go with this, just the small ones for now. So it's the container storage is the one that we 
Oh, okay, so we need solid and liquid. Okay, so let's do a small solid and a small liquid. Okay, so that brings us up to 1.8 million. Um, habitation modules, defense modules. Argonne Administrative Center. I wonder what that does. We'll have to look that one up in the, the encyclopedia. Oh my goodness, that's expensive. Okay, nope, we're not doing that. Not right now, anyway. Uh, we're just going to stick with the... Well, you know what, though? If we get a bigger dock, like a 3M dock, then that means more traders can trade with us at the same time, like three at the same time. So we might go ahead and... The luxury dock, standard dock. I don't know what the difference is between these three. Um, and the price difference, at least for the blueprint itself, is not significant. Yeah, so what the heck? Let's go with the luxury dock. Why not? Watch Good it be out there. super expensive for us to um, to build now. All right. So I just want to double check. So we now own energy cell. Well, we already own that. Meat production, we already own that. We can now do refined metal. We can do silicon wafer. And we can do water. Okay. And then we now know all three of the storage modules. The small storage modules. We can't do habitation, defense, and we learned the luxury. Oh, did I not? I must not have selected that. Okay, we want the luxury dock area too. Okay, confirm. What about other modules? Argon base connection. We know most of that stuff already. Um, ships and equipment, weapons, turrets. I think for now we're going to hold off on this, but we do need to get shields and turrets at some point. Engines, thrusters, missiles, drones, consumer drones. Building drone. I think repair drone would probably be a good idea. Building drone, cargo drone, defense drone. Yeah, um, I don't wanna I don't wanna overdo it. So let's just let's just go with this for now. Good luck out there. And we'll have to rely upon our frigate to keep our station safe for for the time being. Anyway. Okay, now the other thing I want to do is let's go back to our uh, actually let's go to the traders corner. Hello, and I want to see. Can I help? Here you go. Let's get another. Well, do we need a management module right now? I don't think we do actually. No, let's not do that. I don't think we need any of the rest of this. Okay. Good luck out there. Okay, now what I want to do is we're going to need ships assigned to our station. We're going to need a water miner, an ore miner, and a silicon miner. And we probably should have just a general purpose freighter that can get stuff the station needs. Well, unless we can handle that just through our, our buy orders. Let's go back to here and go to plan build.
Yeah, see, the thing is, though, is we're relying upon the AI to bring us this stuff. We got some energy cells incoming. But I kind of feel like I'd like to have a dedicated ship to handle that stuff. Um, so I think that's what we're going to do. Oh, look at this. We got all our new modules now, too. Cool. Um, so let's go to here. And I'm going to buy a Paranid Hermes transporter for that job because they're the it's the fastest ship transporter in M, M class transporter ship that I can currently get okay so let's go down to Trinity Sanctum and buy ships we're gonna go M and we're gonna go Parana or Hermes rather Vanguard and for the loadout uh I want speed here. So if we go if we go with the all around mark 2 that gets us up to 241 268 if we go combat that's 253 or 282 uh that's the Talati version 268 Yeah, these are all the mark 3s here. 282, 268. So this looks like the fastest engine we can get. And for this particular ship, I think we're going to splurge and pay the god-awful extra money so they can go as fast as it can go. All right, so for thrusters, um, it doesn't necessarily need to be super maneuverable. So let's just give it a, a combat mark one for that. But we do want it to be very well shielded. Uh, and it's already got the mark two, but we almost I almost wondered if we should get a take it up to a Talati station and buy a Talati shield for it instead. Um I'll tell you what we'll do. Okay, let's just keep that on the mark two. We could put one turret on here, but I think we're going to do the same thing where we're just going to have it escape if it gets accosted. I'm going to put a docking computer on here just in case I fly it myself, which I probably will, uh, which means uh, we don't really need a police scanner on it. I'm just going to add that stuff to it so it has it. I know it kind of doesn't make sense, but again, I will probably take this myself on occasion. So I just want to have all this stuff on here. Very good. Okay. Uh, needs a El Capitan and we want to give it a full service crew. So it's as, as effective as it can be. And I think that's the ship that we want. But what we're going to do is we're going to save this as uh, Hermes Vanguard Station Hauler. Okay. Now, before we commit to this, now that we've saved the loadout... I want to look at one thing, so let's go to the encyclopedia, to the ship comparison. And we want to go medium, we want to go Hermes Vanguard. Uh, let's get rid of that height, that height preset. Station hauler, confirm that. Let's do this again. Hermes Vanguard. But on this second one, we're going to change, we're going to put Talati shields on it. Because right now it's got Mark II Paranid shields. I don't know why that doesn't show up here, though. Uh, no, shields, sorry. There we go. 
Um, so add this. So that gives us over a thousand more shield. But, of course, a longer recharge. But the recharge, the whole idea with a shield on this particular ship, since it's, it's going to escape, is we want the shield to last as long as possible from the get-go. Now, just for the hell of it, let's also add this one more time. Uh, Hermes Vanguard. Station hauler loadout, but this one we're going to put Argon Mark II shields on just for the purpose of the comparison. Okay. So, yeah, that, that's only going to give us 61, which is what I was expecting. A little less recharge time. So, I think what we want is the Hermes Vanguard, but we want to put Talati shields on it. Now, can I do that from this world something or other place? This all world thingy. If we go medium ship and we go Hermes Vanguard with our loadout, yeah, I think we can, because this, this has access to all of the stuff. So we want the Talati Mark II, which is this guy here. Very nice. All right, let's do... Let's save this as... Um, yeah, overwrite loadout. There we go. Okay, good. And that's what we want. Now, how much are these guys going to charge me for this? They're going to charge me... Seven hundred thirty-nine thousand. And yeah, let's actually rename it Hermes Vanguard Station Hauler. Well, I think for the actual ship name itself, we're just going to call this Station Hauler. Because our standard is to use this ship for that purpose. So we already know that it's a Hermes Vanguard. So we're just going to call this Station Hauler. Um, but it'll be Station Hauler 1 because we'll get more of these in the future. Okay, so that's going to be 739. Add it to the shopping list. Confirm the order. If we purchase this from Trinity Sanctum. Oh yeah, we can't we can't do it here because it doesn't have the Talati shields. Um I wonder if I can recreate this. I think we had a combat mark three on it. We had the basic combat thrusters. We had the Paranid shield. We didn't have any turrets. We didn't have the police scanning software. But I think we had, yeah, we did have the Mark II docking. No consumables. We had a full crew. So if I set this up the same, this is actually more expensive than what we paid for at the other place. The only difference is the shield. So that shield is 90,808. If we go back to here... Oh, it looks like our ship's already ready already. Hermes Vanguard. 
The Talati shield. The Talati shield's cheaper. How's that work? You think of it being Talati would be more expensive. Or maybe it's because we're buying it from this other faction. I don't know. And nevertheless, uh, this is the better deal because we can get all the stuff in one shot and it's cheaper. Uh, quite a bit so, in fact. Okay, cool. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to take Station Hauler 1. And we're going to go back over to here. A little bit of a scrap going on out there, it looks like. Um, and we're going to assign... Transfer wares with Reaver Industries headquarters. Transfer wares with building storage. I think we just use this. Transfer wares. Trade with Reaver Industries. No, not transfer wares. We don't want to transfer wares. That that means we want to move stuff off the ship to the... I want to assign the ship to the station. Assign role. Trade for commander's builds. Trade for commander. Is this how I do that? Trade for commander. Okay. So what did that do? All right. Yeah. Look. It look. It, it did. It did assign the station hauler to the headquarters. So my guess now is that the manager of the station will direct this hauler to go get the stuff that it needs. However, for the moment, we need it to get the stuff for building, not for the station. So if we go back here... I think this is what we actually want it to do. Well, that would seem to indicate that it's already doing that. This group has a different role of trade for commander. Oh, we can make a beta. Oh, can we tell it to do both? Okay. All right, so now it's in beta group. And it is find and perform trades. Um, let's go to behavior. Commander is Reaver Industries headquarters. Trading with Reaver Industries headquarters, searching for trades. Trade for build storage is its current role. That's what we want. And then once we have everything built, then we can switch it over to just trading for the station until the next time that we need to build stuff, and then we can switch it back over. Because here again, I want to I want to minimize this station buying, you know, importing stuff. I want it to make its own stuff. So I think, I think we're on the right track with this. Oh, it does have a gate limitation. That's probably because of the pilot's skill. So can we get a hold of our captain here? El Capitan. Can I help? And give him a piloting seminar. Okay. Sir. Now, does that increase his jump range? It still doesn't. All right. Well, maybe when he becomes a solid two, it will. Or the other thing we could do is we could switch a different pilot over to him from our existing pool. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep this captain continuing to mine minerals just for selling or if we should switch that role to getting ore for our station. 
And we need two more too. We're going to need to get an ice miner and a gas miner as well. Thank you.